Hello YouTube, and today I thought we could go on our new series with doxing and information gathering. Doxing particularly with email and OSINT tools like Maltego. But today we are going to go over how to trace an email from an SMTP server. Uh, for this we are going to use Cyber Forensics India. They have a free email tracer here that we can use to our advantage. We can also pull um, SMTP uh, addresses from IP tables and stuff like that, but this is probably one of the easiest things you can do. Let's start off with this. Um, on this web page, they have a uh, they have a free email tracer here that we can use to our advantage. All it does is send information back from the ISP or internet service provider, but sometimes we can find information about the culprit. So let's first go over what an SMTP or IMAP or POP3 server is. The SMTP protocol. It sends messages and, and, and handles outgoing mess mail requests. The IMAP and POP3 protocols receive messages and are used to process incoming mail. So that's not all it is really. So um, let's get started. So uh, the first thing you want to do is go to your email. And if somebody, like let's say somebody sends you an email and uh, I guess I could just use one of these emails here. Now let's let's send ourselves an email. So this is my email address. I could make my own email server, but I don't. I'll probably make a video on that later. Um, just random, and I'm gonna just send that email. So uh, after I sent that email, or someone sent you an email, we have the email here. Uh, now you can view the original like code and index of the email by clicking on this thing right here by the reply button, the more section, and then you can click show original and it's going to show the original code and everything like that for the email. You're going to copy this and we're going to uh, paste the code we copied and put it down here and click start tracing and the information will be sent from the server down to here and it'll show all of the DNS addresses and stuff here all the way down to the receiver, the sender and the receiver. So I ended up sending this from a different email because it only works if you if someone else sends the email to you. So, so uh, here's a database table on what it was received from and received by and some more information here um, the, the, the problem is it only sends the ISP but it can show it shows you like history information like here's the IPv6 address here's the, the IPv4 address from the receiver from the DNS because this was the DNS or the ISP it was sent from internet service provider address so that's about it really um, that's how you trace an email uh, using this program right here so thank you all for watching and hope you have a good day